Hello everyone, this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, or subscribed recently, who has left me a comment. I read all of your comments and I love hearing from you. I I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude because I feel like everyone has been so supportive and kind and I really appreciate it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in regards to love? What messages do you have for Sagittarius in love, please? Full disclosure, I have reduced these two decks. I combined two decks, the Enchanted Map Oracle and Energy Oracle cards and I just have kind of consolidated the cards to be more clear and related to relationships or could be related to relationships. So just keep that in mind that I have made it a little bit more manageable to shuffle. All right, so we have Into the Unknown and Slow and Steady. Interesting. I'm really getting this is new energy here with Into the Unknown. It could be someone that you don't know yet Sagittarius um, or it could be um, this is someone you've known for a while but you've only been friends you haven't done um, you haven't had a romantic relationship yet so it's almost like take your time what else do you have for my Sagittarius please angel of strength this reminds me of the strength card in the tarot interesting I'm gonna pull that up real quick Number 50. This is a time of increasing power for you. It's not the time to be passive or submissive, but speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of directing your own destiny. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Interesting. So very like, um, I'm getting a lot of like Emperor energy here. Not only Strength card, but Emperor energy. Taking, taking power into your own hands almost. It's like, it, whether you're with someone or you are just getting to know someone, um, I feel like, like you can almost manifest the relationship that you want to have. So let's get into the tarot. I am going to have two decks today. I'll clarify with a different deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Messages for my Sagittarius. I cannot believe the cards that came out. So I'm hoping I have a similar experience for you guys. Tell me, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius regarding love? This will be for... um. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if I didn't mention that. Now remember, time is fluid, so this could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and feel free to reverse the roles if they fit as energy can be vice versa. Thank you. Eight of Swords. Okay, someone is thinking about something, maybe thinking too much. Eight of Cups, two eights. Interesting. It's starting with two eights. Hmm. So someone is walking, oh, okay, obviously this is the card about walking away towards something. I feel like you're walking towards the unknown here. What else for my Sagittarius? For a lot of you, you're feeling a little bit stuck, maybe a little unsure, fearful perhaps. I feel like this is very new to you, Whatever, whatever's going on in this situation. King of Pentacles, stability, commitment, the devil, sign of Capricorn here. With the devil and eight of swords, I'm really getting the word trapped, stuck. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, by the way, nine of swords. Someone is worried about something, about 
the unknown is what I'm getting about not knowing something or a new path they're taking. And I feel like with Angel of Strength, strength it's almost like Spirit's reminder that you are strong and you can do this. Okay. Ten of Wands. Definitely someone is putting down a burden that's been weighing them down. If this has to do with a relationship where it hasn't been very healthy with the devil here, because this, this could also be just an unhealthy attachment. Some of you could be in an unhealthy attachment and it's almost like you have to let that burden go. That's for some of you. Others of you are walking towards this king of pentacles, whether male or female, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Definitely be a Capricorn, someone with Capricorn in their chart. I have Knight of Pentacles under the deck. So I feel like there's definitely an offer coming through here eventually. A slow offer. It might take their time to get to you, but it's coming. What other messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Messages for my Sagittarius, please. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I knew it was coming. Something's on its way to you. I'm going to clarify and see what it is. Bottom of the deck, I got the Ace of Swords. Behind that, I have the Lovers. Hmm. Could be with a Gemini or, some, or I'm just getting a partnership of some sort here. Slow and steady. I have slow and steady here. Hmm. Very Knight of Pentacles energy, or just Pentacles energy in general with slow and steady. Let's clarify and see what we have here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in regards to love? Messages for Sagittarius in love. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Let's just jump. Whoa. Let's just jump into it. I'm going to take the one that flipped over. Seven of Swords. Hmm. So... I feel like into the unknown and with seven of swords and eight of swords, I feel like something has happened with someone that has caused you to leave them and you're heading towards something unknown here. So far, that's what I'm getting. I feel like with the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, you want to make things right. Seven of swords energy with eight of swords. This is someone who has you in your head. Almost like playing mind games here with you. That's for some of you, not all of you, but that's what I'm getting. Seven of Swords. This person takes advantage of this situation. They sneak, they try to sneak away. They try to do things behind your back. They're not truthful. This is the kind of cheating card in the tarot as well. Um, but more than anything, I see it as someone who does not have good intentions. They're waiting for you to turn around so that they can take what they want. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please, for my Sagittarius. Eight of Cups, please. Why is this here? Knight of Wands. Interesting. This could be, okay, so this could be two ways. This could be a player, someone who's not in it for the right reasons. They, they think, they, they act before they think. And it's you're walking away from that energy is what I'm getting. You're walking away from people that aren't thinking of your best interests. I feel like this connection was very, there's probably physical attraction, very strong physical attraction at one point or currently, whatever. I feel like there, there was, it caused an unhealthy attachment for you. I got the fool at the bottom of the deck. So definitely this is, you're walking towards something new here. Tell me about the king of pentacles. Whoa, that is way too many, but 10 of pentacles came out. Tell me about this king of pentacles. Why is this king of pentacles here, spirit? Tower, okay. There has been a tower moment here that has caused you to end something. Why the tower? 
Why the tower? Some of you could be married and this is a tower moment in your marriage. Some of you found out this Seven of Swords energy. You've been in your head about it, but it's like you made a decision to walk away, to put down this burden. You're not gonna do this anymore is basically what I'm getting here. Wow, my cards usually do not come out reversed, guys. I have the Queen of Pentacles reversed, so I, f <laughs> which is crazy because I, I don't do reversals. Um, I just, I tend to just take the cards as they come and, and upright. I feel like I get plenty of messages. But the fact that this came like reverse tells me that this is definitely someone who does not want to commit anymore. This Queen of, Queen of Pentacles reverse is someone that does not want to put in any more effort, is not financially stable, is not good with money, does not want to put in the effort, does not want to be in this relationship anymore. Someone doesn't want to be doing this anymore, and it, it was because of this tower moment. Wow, that's crazy that that came out reverse. I'm telling you, something's going on today. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. So, yeah, basically just confirmation for me that this tower moment is definitely something happening in a stable relationship, or what was once a stable relationship. Ace of Swords, definitely. There's clarity now in this situation. You know what you have to do now. Tell me about the devil. This was like a lightning bolt moment. Um, information, truth, whoa. Okay. Okay, there's way too many here, but I'm gonna take these three that are upside down. The devil, clarified by the devil. This happened in Aquarius as well. We have the Hierophant and the Three of Wands. Definitely, I feel like this was an unhealthy marriage or unhealthy long-term commitment here. Someone was trapped in this relationship or felt trapped or felt some, something was going on here that was not, not good. Um, I feel like some of you were waiting for this to improve with the uh, Three of Wands here and it didn't. This is a very specific reading, so it will not resonate with everybody. Just letting you know. King of Wands under the deck. Definitely someone's taking action. Someone's taking matters into their own hands this time. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I feel like with Slow and Steady as well, I feel like you might not know this, but there is an offer coming in. Um, okay, fine. I'm just going to take these two because cards just want to jump out. Yeah. Exactly what I was about to say. Some of you don't know that you're walking towards happiness. That you're walking towards something that's more fair and balanced to you with justice here. Could be Libra, could be Leo. But honestly, what I'm seeing here is someone's putting down a burden and making that final... This is a completion of something, because it's a 10. 10s are all about completion. The culmination of something, right? Something has, you're dropping this burden, whether it was a toxic relationship, whether it was a um, unhealthy attachment of some sort, whatever it is, you're dropping it because I feel like you really can't do this anymore. You're making a final decision here with justice, a decision where, where things are finally made right and it's going to make you very happy. I just don't think you realize this yet. Or maybe you have realized this with the Ace of Swords that you have to walk away towards something better for yourself. And it's going to be like that push that you needed. Yeah, Ten of Cups under the deck. Some of you are walking towards literally happiness and joy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this message coming? OMG. Four of Wands. Okay, anything else? What else for the Knight of Swords, please? There is something in the future here, or as an outcome almost, I'm seeing this, with the Knight of Swords. Someone's going to someone's gonna take their opportunity and offer you stability and love. I'm just going to take all of these. Holy crap. Okay, so we have... Clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have Four of Wands, Stability, Home, Marriage, Celebration.
We have the Ten of Swords. I've been talking about this. This is definitely an ending here that has happened. Knight of Cups. Someone's waiting for this ending to make you an offer. And Eight of Swords. You're going to be in your head about it. <laughs> you're not going to know what to do. And I think it's because you don't want to rush into anything, Sagittarius. And I think Spirit is telling you, I feel you, slow and steady is the way to go. This is unknown territory. So take it slow. Take your time. But I think this is going to make you very happy. Eventually, you're going to get your four of wands. And that's beautiful. You know, tower moments are very difficult. But they bring about sometimes a new life for us. That's better, better than we thought. Better than we could have imagined on our own, right? So that's beautiful energy. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for checking out this reading. If this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments what this is all about. If it did not resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Check out your other placements. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or commented on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.